Hello, I'm Julia Riley reporting from the Real Estate Information Network. Well, it's that time of year again, tax season. While many people dread this process, others see it as an opportunity to educate themselves in order to get the biggest refund possible. You can too, by claiming all the deductions and tax credits you're entitled to. Every year there are changing tax laws, new deductions, and government tax credits that can dramatically reduce what you owe. So whether you're working with an accountant or preparing the return yourself, do your homework. There's extra money to be had if you know where to look. Start by visiting the whitehouse.gov website to learn about tax credits. There's a handy tax savings tool that explains the 2010 tax credits and whether they apply to you. One that frequently applies to homeowners is the credit for energy saving home improvements, which refunds 30% of what you spend on some energy efficient upgrades. Now it's hard to imagine any homeowner missing the first time home buyer credit but some of the deadlines have been extended, so be sure to check into this if you bought a home in 2010. A quick search online will also reveal some of the most overlooked deductions. Things like moving expenses, out-of-pocket charitable contributions, job hunting costs, state taxes paid last spring, financing points, and education deductions. Look around and you'll probably discover a few things you've been missing. If you find you're getting a nice return, Avoid a refund anticipation loan if possible. The annual interest rates are very high and you'll wind up losing a big portion of the refund you work so hard to get. One final tip, millions of Americans take the standard deduction because it's easier, but they are actually shortchanging themselves. So consider hiring a professional tax preparer and get every penny you deserve. For the Real Estate Information Network, I'm Julia Riley. Thanks for watching Inside Real Estate and see you next time.